So thank you very much, Barbara, to be here and to have this interview with us. So my first question will be, as a researcher, you saw net neutrality regulation all around the world. And what do you think are the main similarities between the public debate in different countries? And did you oversee in any other countries you studied any very particular situation that did not happen in the other countries? So it's interesting because I think you can always distinguish two parts of the network neutrality debate. One is the policy debate about what kind of rules you would want and why. And that debate in general is the same around the world. Um, and then you have the question of how to translate the rules you want into local law that is often heavily influenced by the legal situation in a certain country. In Brazil, you have the Marco Civil, and that sort of constrains what you can do in the US. We have our telecommunications law. And so that makes things different. I think the other aspect that's just interesting watching all the debates happen is differences in the level of public participation and also the way in which people rally around certain practices. There are always very different things that make people mad and then trigger the network neutrality debate. You know, in the US, we had Comcast interfering with the torrent interfering with certain P2P file sharing applications in 2007. And so the US debate, or people in the US spend a lot of time thinking about how to regulate network management practices and how to get network providers to manage their networks in a way that doesn't harm innovation or users. By contrast, other countries that haven't had this debate as much, um, they haven't spent as much time thinking about that. So what I would note is so if each iteration of the debate seems to focus on a different practice. So in the US last year, the thing that captured the public's attention was this idea of fast lanes, that internet service providers could charge application and content providers like Google or Netflix to get better treatment. And so then those who pay get great quality and everybody who can't pay will be in the slow lane. By contrast, if you look at India, and to some extent, I think in Brazil, a lot of the debate has focused on zero rating. And in Europe, it's more of a mix of everything. And I don't think that's a problem in general, because it's just a different point of entry to the debate. I think what's really important to realize is that network neutrality is more than just one practice, and that you only get a great environment for innovation and free speech if you deal with all the practices, blocking, discrimination, and fees for preferential treatment.